Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris of Winsand.com. This video will be giving you a quick rundown on how to use the monophonic mode for the Flex Time tool in Logic Studio 9. This is a great mode to use if you want to time stretch some vocals or any melodic material that you may have in your mitts. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, you can always get a hold of me, Chris at Winsound.com. Scroll down to monophonic. Now you are working within monophonic mode. Okay. And it is recommended that you use melodic monophonic mode with melodic instruments, for example, a bass or a vocal track. Another thing to keep in mind is that monophonic mode really only works correctly if you're using it with dry material. If you're using this with audio that has effects and plugins on it, it's just not going to work correctly. So you need to make sure that the material is dry. Okay. And so now you'll notice that there are these little white lines that have appeared on all of the beats within the region. These are called transient markers. Now there's another kind of marker they can create as well, which is called the flutz marker. You create this marker by simply clicking on the region. If you click at the top half of the region, it's going to create one marker directly where you click. Whereas if you select at the bottom half of the region, it's going to create three flex markers. One, once again, directly where you click, and the other two on its surrounding transient markers. Okay. And so now these flex markers are where you are what you use to drag around the audio. As such, simply by clicking on a flutz marker, dragging to the left, or dragging to the right, is where you get to time stretch the audio. Now you'll notice that once I do that, some of the audio has changed color, this part has turned orange, this part of the audio has turned green. All that is showing me is means that the orange audio has been expanded, whereas the green audio has been compressed. It's just explained that to me visually. That's all those colors mean. And now, there's also one parameter within this uh, monophonic mode. You find that parameter right down here. It is what is called percussive. If you enable this mode, what that does is it affects the timing. It, it does timing better for if you're working with percussive material, meaning like strings or bongos, for example, it's going to uh, make the timing a little bit better within your region. Whereas if you have uh, percussive mode turned off, unchecked, what that is going to do is, if you're working with wind instruments, it's going to take out some of the glitches that may be in the region and just make it sound smoother. Check out Wingsound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Just search for Wingsound at the iTunes store.